All right, we're getting a little more of our JD deck. See how it holds out. I saw the announcement for the Innervate nerf, basically turn it into a coin. Um, it'll probably still see play, but um, probably not as much. It'll definitely be missed um, here. I think they outed it because it ramps into Ultimate Infestation. But I'm sure Ultimate Infestation will get nerfed at some point. It's just way too strong of a card. This is why I'm using it. <laughs> okay. Ultimate Infestation in the opener. I think I might be okay with that. Um, we'll just keep this... Got a Jade Blossom. Could be wrong to keep it. Just focus on ramp in general. But I just want to try having it at the ready. Here. Go ahead and get a Golem out there. I'll probably not ramp coin into the Jade Blossom because Jade Blossom is my only mana ramp, so no reason to burn a coin. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but um, usually people will copy um, the strategies that the streamers are playing on Twitch. I'm sure you've noticed that. So usually the idea is if you can counter what they're playing, generally you'll do fine, but just make sure your deck's well-rounded. I'm not so much doing that right now with this deck, so I think this deck is just good. <laughs> so, okay, so he's doing a Jade version of the deck. Um, I think I will coin out the Behemoth. I don't want him to get too ahead on board. And we can still draw into Innervate or something like that to boost us into Ultimate Infestation. Yeah, I think I shouldn't have kept it in the opener. Probably would have been better just to get into it in a different way. Oh. Now, we'll see if I'm wrong here, but I think I just win this match by deck quality. Because Grand, the Poison guy, he can be good. Like right there, he wasn't bad. But the thing is, he costs three mana. And how big of a deal is it to get poison on a 1 1? I mean, it's situational, sure. But I just don't think he's that good of a card. Like, he's going to have moments for sure. But um, I think it's just not good enough for a deck slot. Like, for example, um, this deck, I know it's out of the class. I would not consider. Putting something like that in here because I'd rather have a more powerful deck than just a pseudo removal spell. See, so right here, okay, so he's removing my taunt, but he's still not really presenting me with threats, and I'm just going to swipe away his stuff anyway. Hmm, I might do it a little different though. Um, tonight I'm some card draw. Actually, I need to draw myself, so let's just double down. So I can get some ramp. Okay, a little late on the mana curve for that, but oh well. I guess I could have burned the Jade Idol there, make three copies. Alright, so what I'll do next turn is probably this and swipe so then we'll have ultimate infestation at the ready him bouncing this is building up his jades no likey hmm tempting just to go medivh here but I need to empty my hand. Alright, so here's what we'll do. Gain a mana crystal. Hmm. I don't really want him to get 
extra cards, so we're just going to do this. We won't be able to ultimate infestation next turn. It'll make us overdraw. But I think this will set up the Primordial Drake. Okay, so he's a clone, make jades type of deck. Alright, so we need to get into our jades badly. Or else, we, yeah, we're just falling behind here. Rude. But again, this shows where his uh, poison guy is actually bad. Because he's lost a lot of deck quality. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna go... Make three copies. Medivh. We might just be dead this turn. Hmm. Do I tag that? No. Yeah, we might just be dead, yeah. I like to mute them when they start bragging. Oh, really? Oh, that's tragic. But seriously, though, his deck would be better if he got rid of the poison stuff. Because, frankly, he had to trade his board in anyway, so what did he actually do by playing that? Alright, well, we will not settle for failure. So, dance, now dance. They never had a chance. <sighs> Always with the mirror matches, I swear. I mean, it's probably just because it's a powerful deck and a lot of people are playing it. But I've never gotten as many mirror matches as I have right now in Druid. Okay, so we're digging for our ramp. Okay, not the worst to have Jade Spirit. Medivh's a little awkward. At least for the opening hand. Do I intervene into it? So I gain one. Considering I don't have any other mana ramp, I'm not going to. Because the innervate might be more important later. Any day now. My greetings. Wow, this guy's slow. I always hate these kind of matches. Where it's like, you're taking all day for what reason exactly? But then again, I've played this game for a while, so... Maybe I'm just starting to get a chess-like attitude where it's like, hit the clock and pass. <laughs> I mean, as look, my turn took two seconds. I'm like, well, he's on his turn. I'm um, feeling out my next turn and deciding what I'm going to do right now. So then by the time it comes to my turn, I have extra time to think about it if I need to. Otherwise, I can just, you know, play it out. So right now, I've pretty much already decided I'm playing Jane's Spirit, unless something else. Okay, Jane's Spirit it is. No reason to put my fandrel out there. So 
so slow. <laughs> like he hovered the card out there. Like, why did you do that? <laughs> All right, so we can. Hmm. I think I'm gonna innervate Lynch King out. This feels good. Um, which puts me in a position to want to protect him. I don't know if I have much use for it, though. Ooh, gets me with the silence. Boop. This is a bad card, actually. So that disappoints me a bit. Um, well, let's abuse the fact that we're the ones with the 80. At this point, I'm just going to chuck Fandral. He's a dead card in my hand right now. No use for him. In this next turn, we can put down Medivh or Primordial Drake, depending on which one suits our purposes. Maybe Spreading Plague on turn 9. We'll see. See, he didn't know Fandral was a dead card in my hand, which made it even better to play it there. <laughs> The rolls always kill Fandral, so I'm going to have to kill Fandral here <laughs> instead of 8 to the face. Um, I think I want to get Medivh in play rather than ramp into the uh, ultimate manifestation. I just think ultimate manifestation is going to be a lot stronger um, with Medivh than without. Let's see what he does here. If he goes wide, we can just, you know, spreading plague. If he goes for the poison, that works with my primordial drake. Oh, he did. Oh my goodness. Wreck this kid. Bye, Felicia. I think he's just dead now. GG. Let's see if double swipe doesn't get him out of this. I mean, it'll get the big threats out, sure, but then I'm just going to ultimate infestation and have a full hand and a 10 10 on the board. So he's in a very awkward spot right now. Okay, spreading plague, that'll buy him time. But again, I don't think it's going to be good enough because he's got to kill stuff. Here's the swipe. And do I ultimate infestation his face? Or remove that? Hmm. I'll just remove something. We'll have to attack into them anyway. And considering I pretty much got the big value off the Medivh thing, I am actually going to just attack here. Get the taunt off the board. And game. Or second spreading plague to put off the inevitable. Because I think he's too far behind on his jades too. Come on, man. You've been slow on the uptake all this time. I guess it'd be slow to uptake that you lost. Oh my gosh, he's so slow. He's so slow. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, and then I kill you. So what? Medivh trades. And bam, bam. That was a satisfying win. He was making me upset with how slow he was going. <laughs> See you later, Eduardo. All right. And I need to 